If you're planning to visit Asia during the Lunar New Year holidays, well, we have a story about how to avoid getting lost in translation. Flitto is a translation and language data platform that says it's now using AI too to help convert voice to text in real time, among other tools. Big clients include Baidu, Microsoft, Airbnb, and Tencent. It's based in South Korea. It's also working with the Seoul Metropolitan Government which launched its first real-time translation service to help tourists communicate while there. It currently supports up to 40 different languages in various guises and has around 14 million users worldwide. And I'm pleased to say Flitto CEO Simon Lee joins us now from Seoul. Simon, fantastic to have you on the show. I know you have a lot Thank going on playing. at Flitto. I've downloaded the app, mm -hmm. so I've been playing with it. You have data mm -hmm. services that you provide. You also have the translation tools. Just start by explaining mm -hmm. who your clients are and what your primary service provides. Well, uh, first, thank you for inviting me here. Well, Flito is a language-based AI company with a mission to break down the language barriers we encounter in our daily lives. So we achieve this by developing valuable technology and services, as well as by creating linguistic data to train AI engines, including OCR, voice recognition, machine translation, uh, text-to-speech, like which is TTS, and so on. We leverage a cross-sourcing platform that boosts millions of users worldwide. So uh, our clients are like individual users, you know, who feel the language barrier and also the companies that develop artificial intelligence in the language field. Okay, so I downloaded the app and I was trying it. I think one of the obvious places, and it's incorporating AI as a first pass, is that you could perhaps take a picture of a menu if you're somewhere mm -hmm. abroad and you don't understand the menu and it gives you the approximate uh, definition of the things that you're potentially going to eat. Is that one of the obvious mm -hmm. uses? Because I'm sure that's very useful for people traveling, particularly if you're you know, yeah, working well, with the, the government yeah. there in Seoul. Mm -hmm. So that's what we call a uh, fleet image translation and, and um, you know, many shops, restaurants and departments in Asia are already utilizing this technology to translate their menus for their foreign customers. So what sets Fleetos image translation apart of is the absence of translation errors. In reality, many translation is an extremely challenging task and having no transla translation errors seems impossible. This, uh, the reason behind the flawless translation in Flito image translation lies in the fact that results generated by the machine are fine tuned in real time by humans in our platform. So that's the difference. And that's why you can get a perfect translation using that technology. I tried it with voice to text. And that's mm -hmm. where the real difficulty comes in because you require context and understanding of sort of lost in translation issues. And it was challenging. I, I tried to get it to do in South Korean to write coming up after the break. And the translation, according to my um, Korean producer, was it's climbing up. Siri, by the way, on Apple got it wrong, too. It was challenging. So it's we're sort of at the early stages of this and it can be used in certain situations, but in others that the translation of these things is really hard. You're working in a quite difficult space, I think. Yeah, well, um, you know, a lot of companies like our company, you know, we're working on um, real time, like simultaneous interpretation system. Well, right now, the accuracy is like over 90 percent for high resource languages. But for like low resource languages, you know, you need to develop more and we need to collect more data. So yeah. that's why we utilize our platform where we have 14 million users. And what they do is uh, they generate linguistic data that we can train our engines to develop the engines for their languages. So I'm, I'm pretty much sure within two years, you know, we'll get better so that you can actually use it in your re real daily life. Wow. OK, so how long is it going to take before I can broadcast across South Korea and you can take my TV show and have it simultaneously speaking in Korean for the audience? How long do we have that capability? <laughs> It's, it's almost real time. You know, in places yeah. like news broadcasts, simultaneous interpretation technology can be better utilized because, yeah. you know, newscasters and reporters use refined language and adhere to proper we'll grammar and have <laughs> clear pronunciation, of course, making yeah. it much easier for AI to recognize. And, and this is very um, amazing because by combining meta-human technology, avatars resembling newscasters can be also be generated. 
allowing your spoken words to be transmitted to viewers in different languages in almost real time. I'm starting to get nervous when you mention the word avatar, because I'm wondering whether that's mm -hmm. the end of my job. <laughs> Don't nod and smile. Um, quick question on Flitto. Are you making money, Simon? Like, how, do you, how do you make money yeah. with this? Yeah. Well, we make money by uh, delivering, by selling the linguistic data we collect and generate from uh, our platform huh. to our clients in global. So they buy our data to train their engines. And that's yeah. how you use AI um, technology these days. Okay. Are you profitable? Yeah, of course. You know, we are making uh, enough money and we are making more money like every single year. Wow. Congratulations. We'll get you on because I want to ask how you're actually um, training these models or is it just about providing data for others to train theirs? Um, AI is fascinating. Simon, great to chat to you. And uh, I'm going to be using Thank your you service, by the way, when I'm in Asia in a couple Thank of weeks' you. time. <laughs> Simon Lee. Thank, Thank you, you for that. So we'll speak again soon.